Hi, my name is Erica Easter and I'm an attorney at eMinutes. At eMinutes, we form business entities and then we also handle the annual compliance matters for entities. Today, I'll be showing you how to file a statement of information for a corporation using the California Secretary of State's online portal. The first step is to go to the Secretary of State's website, which is sos.ca.gov. Once you're there, you'll click on the Businesses tab at the top, and it will take you to uh, some popular um, items on the state's website, and we're going to select number three here, which is the Corporation Statement of Information File Online. Once you're there, it'll ask you to submit the name of your corporation and search the records of the California Secretary of State's website. You can also use the company's SOS ID number if you have that. Um, either one works. I'm going to be using our firm today as an example. So, under law, search. The search query will return results and you'll find the entity within the results you have and click on the link under the ent entity name column. It'll then pull up the information um, and then you have to check off a box, a disclaimer saying that it's the correct entity that you'll be filing for. Um, once you've done that, it'll say available filings and I'm going to select file a statement of information. This part can take a bit of time to load, um, but once it's up, you'll again click this uh, box to accept the Secretary of State's online filing service privacy warning. Um, and hit next. Again, it'll give you a recap of the entity information and you want to double check that the name of the company is right and that the entity number is right as well. And these happen to be correct, so I'm going to hit next. Um, the first information you'll need to enter is the address of the company. So you'll just type in whatever address you're using. Um, but first you're going to select the country because that will dictate the state. So I'm going to choose United States and add our address. Um, then it's going to ask you if the principal place of business is the same as the mailing. If it is, you'll hit yes. If it's not, you'll hit no, and then they'll give you another field to add a second address. In our instance, it is the same, so I'm going to hit yes. Um, and then the final question on this page is, do you have a principal office in California? Um, and then we're going to hit no. Um, now we have to enter the information for each of the officers of the company. The state select er, requires that you include chief executive officer, chief financial officer, um, and the secretary. In my case, they're all the same, so I'm going to enter that information now. They also give you the ability to select from an address you've previously used, so in our case, that's, that's what I want to use. But if you have a different address, you can also enter it here manually. Then you'll hit next and it will ask us for the director information. Um, you're required to have at least one director if you have a single shareholder entity. Um, and so I'm going to enter this here. And again, use the address we previously used. Uh, if you have additional directors, you'll select from this drop down and you can put as many as seven here and it'll populate the fields for you to complete and it'll then ask you if there are any vacancies on your board. We have none, so I'm going to keep it at zero and hit next. Uh, the, now you need to enter the agent for service of process. In California, the agent can either be an individual who's a resident of the state of California. And if you select that, um, there's a field for the name and then you have to put the address. And you realize that it, it is has to be a California address. Or you can choose a commercial agent. Um, I'm going to use our sister company, e-resident agent, um, which is a commercial agent in California. You just need to enter part of the name and it will pull it up from the database. It is important to note too that if you're using a commercial agent, you need to make sure that the commercial agent knows that you're naming them as agent so that if the company is ever served, they can get forwarded, forward you the information that is served on them. 
Um, it'll also ask you for the type of business. I'm going to put law. And then finally, it's going to ask you for the email address. And this is where they will send a confirmation that the statement has been filed as well as a filed copy once it's been processed. Uh, and then I'm going to say I've reviewed this information above and it is all correct. And sign my name. Uh, the final uh, screen is going to be payment information. If this is within your filing window, um, it's going to be a $25 payment. Um, this one is just happens to be an amendment, so it's $5, but I would enter the credit card information. Uh, the Secretary of State only takes Visa and MasterCard, but once that's in, I will click all the rest of the information and hit submit. You'll then get a confirmation page. They'll also send you an email confirmation saying the statement has been filed. It usually takes 24 to 48 hours for a filed copy to come back. Um, that's it. Thanks so much for watching, and if you have any questions, please reach out to our firm. Thanks. Bye.